Tire Pilot Plus Troubleshooting Procedures If your Tire Pilot Plus low pressure warning light is illuminated, or you experience a flat tire, then there may be a leak somewhere in the system. This video will help diagnose the most common causes for Tire Pilot Plus system leaks. Note, if your low pressure issue is not solved with these steps, please consult the troubleshooting flowchart within the Tire Pilot Plus system manual for additional steps that can be taken. If you observe one or more flat tires, the first step is determining if there is any significant damage. The Tire Pilot Plus system can compensate for small leaks, but will not function if a tire has a large puncture or cut. Inspect all of the trailer tires for damage, cuts, or any punctures from embedded debris such as a nail. Repair or replace any tires that exhibit issues. If no visible damage is present, next power up the trailer air and electrical system. If the Tire Pilot Plus low pressure warning light illuminates, then there is a leak in the system. First check that none of the trailer suspension system components are consuming air. If you have an air ride suspension, make sure there are no leaks leading to or in the airbags themselves. If you have an air release pin pull mechanism, make sure the pin pull isn't stuck, forcing the system to consume air. Next, carefully listen around all of the trailer tires for audible leaks. Repair any small cuts or punctures that you find in the tires themselves. If you hear a leak near one of the Tire Pilot Plus hose connections, Proceed to soap check the fitting in order to verify a leak. Disconnect and then reconnect the fitting, ensuring it is properly threaded and fully tightened. If this does not fix the leak, there may be an issue with the O-ring within the hose connection. At this point, the hose should be replaced. If, however, you are unable to detect an audible leak or cannot locate an audible leak, the next step is determining if the leak is from the hub cap out to the tires, or within the Tire Pilot Plus system itself. First, disconnect all of the air hoses at the hubcaps. If the low pressure warning light stays on, then the leak is within the Tire Pilot Plus system itself. We will discuss troubleshooting steps for this scenario in a minute. If the low pressure warning light shuts off, then the leak is somewhere from the air hoses out to the tires. In this scenario, begin by reconnecting each air hose one by one until the low pressure warning light turns on. This will indicate which air hose and or tire is leaking. Soap check all of the connections and check for air bubbles. Reconnect any fittings that appear to be leaking air. Note, if the system has been in operation for several years, be sure to soap check the hose crimp as well. A leak at the hose crimp cannot be repaired and the hose must be replaced. If the soap check doesn't reveal any air leaks, then the leak is most likely in the tire itself. Thoroughly inspect the tire for small cuts or punctures and repair them. If you previously determined that a leak is most likely within the Tire Pilot Plus system itself, there are a series of steps that can be taken to locate the leak. Warning! While the air system must be on to diagnose a leak, the system must be shut off and completely depressurized prior to attempting any repairs to the Tire Pilot Plus system components. Failure to do so could result in serious injury. Begin by soap checking the center axle tube fitting and axle tube vent. If any part of the fitting is leaking, remove and reinstall the fitting. Make sure pipe dope or Teflon tape has been applied to all the fitting threads. If bubbles appear at the axle tube vent end cap, this indicates an air leak inside of the axle tube itself. It may be possible to determine which end of the axle tube the problem is on by first removing each hubcap check plug. Remove one plug at a time, listening for the air leak at each axle end. If one side sounds louder than the other, that is the side where the air leak is located. Next, remove the hubcap and remove any oil or grease residue. You can now soap check the spindle plug vent holes. If bubbles appear, then the leak is inside of the axle tube and the spindle plug will need to be removed and all fittings and air tubes checked and repaired. If no air bubbles appear, you can next check for a leak around the hubcap rotating shaft. Warning! 
In order to troubleshoot rotating shaft leaks, you must first turn off the air supply and depressurize the system. Failure to do so could result in injury. Begin by removing the rotating shaft from the hubcap. You must next locate a brass NPT cap for the rotating shaft end and screw it on tightly. Now insert the rotating shaft back into the spindle plug and secure it with wire as shown. This will prevent the rotating shaft from blowing out. Lastly, pressurize the air system and soap check around the rotating shaft. If bubbles form, then the seal inside of the spindle plug may be damaged and the spindle plug will need to be replaced. This completes the basic troubleshooting steps for the Tire Pilot Plus system. If these steps do not solve your issue, please consult the troubleshooting flowchart within the Tire Pilot Plus system manual for additional steps.